Hi everybody, welcome to Aikido Flow. Now, I remember a long time ago we made a video called Aikido versus Punching. And boy, actually, you know what? Hang on, I'm gonna have to cut in here. It actually, the original video wasn't Aikido versus Punching, it's Aikido versus, versus Boxing. boxing. Um, and we, and no, I changed it, okay? Yeah. Because people just came in and said, no, 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 you don't know anything about boxing, did it? And that was true, okay? So we yeah. thought, yeah, let me just make it about punch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've got to recap on that. <laughs> we're gonna have a look at this. <laughs> okay, so I remember that video. It does loads of comments and, you know, you know, we read the comments and we got a lot of feedback, some negative, some positive. But what it taught us was that boxing, someone who can box, they're dangerous. You know, I see videos of boxers, people who can really box, they are dangerous. Any uh, martial arts that involves punching, knowing how to throw a good punch, mm. boy, mm. And that's you might a, be and, in trouble. And, that, and that's all they do. So yeah, boxers, People that are specialised in boxing, forced to be reckoned with. Yeah, absolutely. But most people on the street, which you deal with, and in Aikido Flow, we're more about street fighting, you know. I feel like fellow martial artists, we don't, we don't, if you're a proper martial artist, you don't go around causing fights. You don't, you want to avoid confrontation. You don't want to go around hurting people. Not like, not like in the old, in the old late night movies, like do you remember where they used to just come up and say, I challenge yeah. your, your, your hero yeah. to, a, yeah. to a fight. And I challenge your teacher. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yeah, so it's a case of we, we, you know, we're not gonna just go around attacking people, but most people who don't box, they're the ones who want to get into some sort of confrontation. Anyone does, mar does do martial arts, they're the ones you're most likely to get into a competition with. So we're talking about street fighters here, people who just want to fight you on the street. How do you deal with somebody throwing punches at you on the street? Now, the thing they're less likely to do is throw jabs. When I've been in confrontation on the street, their aim is to hit me as hard as they can and move on. Knockout, innit? They, do, yeah. they just want like a one punch exactly. knockout. They Everybody, yeah. Knockout punch. And it's a case of, so they normally put a lot of effort into that punch. So that's where they telegraph and that's the mistake they make. Often you can see it coming. So when somebody wants to throw a punch, normally it's a big kind of thing. You see, as we talk about watching body language, you see it and <laughs> you know, they telegraph, you can almost know when they're about to do it. So a good way of combating a punch, okay, is moving in. You don't want to, someone throws a punch, you don't want to stay here because another punch is coming after that and you're still in the position where they could punch you. When someone throws a punch, ideally, you want to be here. You want to move in away. So now if I'm here, they need to turn all the way around to get that punch to me, but by then it's too late, I've already done something here. So what I'm gonna do here is, I move in, I block, and look where my elbow is. Crack. I'm coming here, here, oh. and then here I can just take them oh. down here. Oh, oh he's gone. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So this technique is a little bit complex, but it's very effective but I need to get that strike in there in order for it to help me. So I'm coming in, I'm moving in, I'm protecting myself here. I'm coming here, boom, giving a strike there. It gives me a couple of extra seconds to perform the technique. So what I'm doing is I'm coming here to where the elbow, back of the, front of the elbow, back of the elbow. Inside. The inside of the elbow. Here, this comes now, from once I've grabbed hold of this, this doesn't let go, but what it does, it pivots round a bit, it slides round. This hand comes to join this hand. Now what's important here is, the hand must be behind the shoulder. And I get it behind the shoulder by, not by using brute force, but by rotating my body. And then from here, what I imagine is, I imagine someone's tapping my shoulder and I'm turning round Whoa. to see them. Oh, 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 oh. I'm turning round to see them and 
I'm spiraling round and down, okay? Let me show you the hand movements again. So I've moved in here, I've struck here, here, this comes here, this comes here. Remember, if it's here, this is not gonna work. This hand needs to be behind the shoulder. I use my chest to pin the arm. So, so Jason can't pull his arm down again. It's against my chest. And I keep on turning here, to tilt him back, and then, and then basically, my aim is to bring the hand down here. And I do that with these two hands, power of these two hands against this hand, me turning my body and rotating. Okay, taking him down. I love that technique. Because at the end there, I don't even have to take him down. I can just, I can just pin him here Ooh. and say to mate, you know, calm down. There's not much he can do from here. I'll just pin him right there. As long as I've got the hand behind the shoulder, he isn't strong enough to pull that hand back again because my two hands are against his hand. I just pin him here and say, mate, calm yourself. Yeah, I'm not getting that out of That hand there. there is weak. Yeah, he, yeah. He, he can do something, but if he tries to do something, I'll just take him down, okay? So it's just there. And that's a nice, effective technique and a way of dealing with someone who's throwing a good hard punch at you. But the important thing is moving in. Don't wait out here, move in. Just to get yourself in a safe position where they can't throw that second punch. So, oh, don't forget, click on the links below. You've got our online training. You know, we've got the traditional way of training and the street way of training. Click on the links and have a look at that. That will learn, you'll learn everything that we've taught you over the years. So, in conclusion, okay, we, it's the second time we've kind of touched on this subject. First video, you know, like as we say, we've got a lot of stick for it, but we're kind of understanding how difficult it is to combat a boxer. So, but most people, like we say, they're gonna throw that one-time punch, the haymaker, or, you know, hard straight punch, just in order to take you down. So, they're a lot easier to deal with than it would be if you did a if you train if you fought up against someone who specialised in boxing.